is the horoscope ring. We have presented this during Barbara's visit. It has already been very popular. It's popular every time. It is now clearance price. I can't believe it. Um, at $189.98, your choice in your horoscope, but we didn't, and by we I mean Barbara, didn't just take the same ring and put the different monthly or horoscope symbols on them. Every single one is custom made to that particular zodiac sign. We will lose free shipping and handling and easy pay at the end of the day. And you are saving now $130. Look at this detail on Capricorn. I mean, now we're talking about model making that has to be done by master point. model makers. Right. Not only is it so intricate. Oh, this is so fun. It, it's miniaturized, you know? Yes. So I, I was saying to Rick last <laughs> night, I draw with a mechanical pencil and I use uh, 0 0.03 lead, which basically looks, looks like, like a human thin hair. sewing needle. <laughs> uh, you know, a, let me know if you need help. Those are snug. Oh, the thickest. It. And sometimes I'll be drawing something and saying, if I'm having a hard time drawing this with like <laughs> a needle, gonna do it in metal. they're going to hate me. They're going to hate to me. carve this, but but they don't because they these are people that work all their life perfect their craft. They, they embrace it. All right, so you saw the side profile briefly of the Capricorn. Your stone there is lapis. Now, Barbara, can we just for a moment, because I am Capricorn and I know typically Capricorn equals garnet. January equals garnet. But I know you didn't adhere to no. the default gemstone. For what I did, both because I thought it was interesting and for aesthetics and interest, was to go back and pull from a lot of different astrological right, charts. Many, I yeah. did not just make up any of them, you know, but I did take artistic license by mixing <laughs> together some Aquarius, of the Aquarius, black hematite. Hematite and turquoise. Pisces, that blue, is green, agate. Um, agate and blue topaz. Just a few dozen in Pisces. I try to angle them for a second so you could see that carving on the side. And the trust me, if we had fish. a half an hour, we could still show you all the details. Right. Okay, uh, Aries. Aries has that gorgeous amethyst tab and blue topaz, and of course the ram on the side. Aries is uh, limited, I understand. Okay, moving on to Taurus. Taurus the bull, and that's azurite, um, and uh, blue topaz, I can't, or eyelash? Eyelash, I'm sorry. No um, I, it's even hard for me to remember what I do with, okay. all, <laughs> I don't with know all, all you, these pieces. Yeah. Okay. And then Taurus the bull on the side. Gemini. Gemini, and, which I interpret as, it's the twins, I interpret them as twin butterflies, which are on the side. That's oh, white agate and gorgeous amethyst. I mean, it's an accent stone, that is. but they're beautiful. Okay, so Cancer, blue chalcedony. Cancer is a beautiful, almost a Pariba blue mm -hmm. uh, chalcedony. You have the crabs on the side, and then again, gorgeous citrine. All right, and then I believe Leo. Leo. That's onyx and pink rhodolite. This is so fun. I haven't even shown you like the underside of any of these. Okay, uh, Virgo and carnelian. Virgo, the virgin. Um, that's carnelian and citrine, and then it's got that beautiful that goddess carving. on the side. This is where maybe you just want to pick up a different one that isn't even your sign, just because you love the gemstone. Oh, like, absolutely. why not? Absolutely. Uh, okay, Libra. Um, Libra, the scales, this was challenging. Right? Um, what is that stone? That is uh, azurite oh. or azurite Chrysocola. malachite. Chrysocolla. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I, I do mix up seeing with the, uh, the azurite malachite yeah. and the chrysocolla um, and amethyst with that. All right, Scorpio. Scorpio is milky aqua with pink garnet. Mm -hmm. And you can see those scorpions on the side. All right. And then Sagittarius, lucky you with the turquoise. That is that is my sign. Wow. Um, and that's turquoise and pink garnet, and it has these <sighs> lovely horses in side view. I can't even wrap my head around the length of time it takes to design. I mean, we, we put it all under one uh, item number, like it's the same thing. Right, right. And every single one is a complete, unique work of art on its own. I'm just randomly grabbing one to just try to show you some of the detail here on the sides and, and underneath too. You'll see a little video shot there as well. Now, yes, my husband is a musician, uh -huh. but he wears this ring. Why not? Why not? I mean, I don't see any reason. I don't see anything gender specific to this ring. I don't at either. all. And it's certainly bold enough. So what I think I grabbed Pisces, no, yeah, Pisces. Yes. So you have one. the carp on the side and some stylized waves and that inlay, that overlay of gold is thick. 
This is not like yeah. gold leaf. Mm -mm. You can actually the see yeah. the thickness see the of the of gold. You know, this is a like forever ring. It will never go out of style. This could be passed down. So, well, with all my pieces, I like them to be really fine and substantial um, and not cheap out on the metals mm. or the weights or and the And just techniques. in general, like generally speaking, because I know we have the necklace and the cuff as well in horoscope, you know, whether you really read into it and kind of fashion your life around the, the concept or the predictions of a horoscope. I think most men and women, and certainly me, I identify with the strengths of my sign. Like yes. I look for what the positive aspects of that sign are, and I own them, and I lean into them, right? I see it as something incredibly positive. Right. And I just ignore all the negative right. stuff. And you know, some people <laughs> feel more connected to their rising sign. Yeah. So, you know, you can go that direction. On the necklaces, I made it so you could remove the drop and wear a flower mm -hmm. or anything else. So. I don't think you have to wear your sign. You no. might want to wear your husband's or sign or your. I'm, I'm amazed how many Taurus your kids. come into my life without me even seeking them, and we just seem to click automatically. So that is, you know, maybe I wear that in representation right. of some of my favorite people in my Absolutely. entire life. Dan, you're a Taurus? Well, that's why we get along so great. <laughs> you just see, and the Taurus is so easygoing. They get along with everybody, right? You know. And uh, then on the other side of that, I think they're all beautiful. So, I mean, if, if you pick, do pick your own sign, I don't think. You know, you can go wrong no. with any of these combinations. So I would love to actually show you, I know we have a graphic that breaks all of these down because try as we might, camera pans through, I cannot show you um, or label appropriately every single one. And also if you're shopping for somebody else and you go, I'm not quite sure what they are. Right, right. right. Then you can lock right in. And some people are on the cusp. So mm -hmm. you can go either way, right? Um, my suggestion to you as well is to go to qvc.com where your mouse can hover over in detail every single one of these rings. We have 100 of them already gone. And with every order that is placed, we are that much closer to bidding farewell forever to this item because it is clearance price. It used to be $320, but we will lose easy pay and free shipping at the end of the day regardless. J355695. Oh, really, Dan? Uh, all right, I'm bummed because I, we're not going to get a chance to present the cuff. Oh, no. I'm wearing it. I'll try to show Me you it in too. detail. I know Barbara.